Welcome to Adults Only Comedy Berlin. Today we have Palma and what's your surname? Fuck. Palacios. Palacios. Yeah. Palma Palacios? Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. You got it. Fuck yeah. Dominican name. That's a Dominican name? Well, my two last names are actually super Spanish names, okay. so high colonizers. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked. We're all kind of connected to something bad. You know, like, so you're saying that you've got Spanish, Spanish heritage that like there were the people that came to. Yeah. 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 Dominican Republic. And, you know, also that's how we got the language. So. Yeah. True. <laughs> like what are the, who are the indigenous people of. Um... So in Dominican Republic, we had Arawak and Taino okay. indigenous people. Yeah. I feel so ignorant. I've never heard those two names. <laughs> <laughs> that don't no, don't worry. I mean, yeah. Dominican Republic is not known for much other than, you know, what's out there in pop culture, which is already so little, so. Mm -hmm. And were the Dutch also there? I thought, no, I thought the Dutch no. were, okay, I just stayed with some semi-creepy Dutch man when I, uh, yeah, when I was in Amsterdam once after, like, I had been harassed in a hostel and he was like the refuge Airbnb, but he himself was very creepy and he'd spent the last, like, 20 years in Dominican Republic and then um, couldn't stay for visa reasons. And so somehow in my head, I was like, ah, Dominican Republic colonized by the Dutch. <laughs> so dumb. Oh my God. It's so weird to hear, you know, white person. It's not something I associate with like visa problems. Yeah, right. Ever. And he was already there for 20 years. Well, something like, like that. Like making that shit up. I think it was. He yeah. just wanted to leave. I think he wanted to stay. He was a very sad man. I think he should have been in, like, he only talked about Dominican Republic with, like, 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 uh, that longing, like, the best days of my life kind of vibe. Yeah. Maybe he was also really sad there because he couldn't get the dance moves and whatnot. He definitely couldn't dance. Ger how, Gerhard. So how long did you date him for? No, I didn't date him. I just stayed with him. He was, like, an Airbnb host. And he, he rented his apartment to my brother and I when, after this, like, horrific um, experience where uh, these guys, these, like, guys in our dorm room, uh, were hallucinating thinking that I was having a threesome with my brother and my brother's friend and these guys started saying oh I'm gonna come and join that uh, oh look he's eating out our pussy and like nothing was happening like my brother was just standing next to me tripping on tr fucking truffles and he was needing me to hug him we were just and I was just like it's okay Maddie we're gonna go downstairs we need to get out of the dorm room and this there's this guy narrating a, a, an orgy that only he can see and then he's going I'm gonna go I'm gonna come and join in I'm gonna cut and he starts coming down from his bunk bed and I'm like this guy gonna come over and fucking rape me and so i had to like get my tripping brother and his friend out of the room and get myself out of the room and then went to reception i was like I'm, i don't feel safe in this room these guys think i'm having se i'm not having set they're gonna come over and fuck me like i don't know and so they put us into a spare bedroom a different like a private room my brother and i the next day we go back into that room and i wake up in the middle of the night to two guys standing at the base of my bed with a torch what? staring at me and the next morning I tell my brother this and he's like, okay, we're getting an Airbnb. We're getting out. And so we get this Airbnb with this guy that has been in the Dominican Republic. This is my only like act, like, like, <laughs> like connection to Dominic <laughs> Dominican Republic ever. Uh, and so we stay with this guy and this guy has his apartment way outside of uh, inner city Amsterdam. And he is, he has set up a mattress in his laundry and we, my brother and I are sleeping in his bedroom and he's at home the whole time just Holy watching shit. TV. And then he goes to his like, like small laundry bed um yeah that that's my <laughs> so i was not dating him oh my god no well I, I have heard that you know lodging prices and prices in general in amsterdam were like tough yeah yeah that was quite <laughs> yeah insane it's oh a my god weird story yeah so anyway the indigenous people of the <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have any connection to indigenous but it's it's a spanish like all your heritage is like spanish, uh, no or? no no we are all mixed there mm -hmm. it's an amalgamation of so many things um we were like one of the central points during slave trade we are sharing an island with haiti uh -huh. so half the island well it's not half but Part of the island is the Dominican Republic to the east and to the west is Haiti. Uh -huh. And actually, um, there was French influence there because uh -huh. of Haiti because um, uh -huh. uh -huh. they were colonized by the French. Then Haiti also was over in DR for some time. So it's a mix of really everything, hmm. a lot of stuff. But, you know, genocide. <laughs> 
Genocide. <laughs> Genocide by the Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. Okay. Originally. Of the indigenous mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. And then lots of colonizing Spanish. And then, okay, the mix with Heidi. And I should go and have a look. I uh... Yeah, you should. <laughs> it sounds like the food would be amazing. It is. Yeah. It really is. I really miss it. But you can find a lot of stuff here too. And it's really, really? interesting to go to some West African restaurants here and they have like some similar stuff and you're like holy shit interesting is this where everything comes from Uh, because with the slave trade i guess yeah yeah, lots of that influence interesting fuck and then hold on and so you were because your story is that you were in japan right yeah you've been in japan you you've lived in japan you in the states as well like uh yeah so my parents are communists so we could say (laughs) that i escaped the regime 10 years ago they hate it when i say that uh So like Dominican Republic, uh, it's communist. not. No, it's not. It's not. Whether what, it's like, just my parents. Okay, 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 okay. Was it like I'm so ignorant of the history and everything? It, Were they in the same like like um, band as 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 Cuba? And is that like did they go through a communist vibe thing there or? N- no, never. Because no, okay, the, you the U.S. you know intervened in the island mm-hmm. to prevent exactly that because you know whatever they called it the domino effect with cuba and mm-hmm. then they were afraid of that with vietnam blah 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 yeah communism so scary oh my god oh my god honestly that was the u.s's most successful pr campaign like communism scary oh god oh my Amazing. god equal distribution Incredible. of wealth disgusting that is terrifying <laughs> i mean come on equal access to education and and housing and jobs oh my god gross yeah but dictatorships are not cool but I left home to go to college in the States and never went back. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then you went to Japan. Like, why were you in Japan? I went to China. You went to and China. And that's how I ended up in Japan. I went to China for work. And yeah, I wanted to go to Japan first, actually. Mm-hmm. I told you I was like a huge nerd. And oh my God, mm-hmm. you would be so proud. I'm I'm, fuck, I'm a fucking pervert. You're a pervert. Yeah, I... Whenever people try to make fun of like hentai or like boys, like, that's love. my shit. That's my shit. Shut How up! How dare you? <laughs> this is an art form. Yes, and it's for everyone. Also, we're in fucking Berlin. How could you? How can anyone be against <laughs> hentai? I mean, like, what the fuck? It's well, yeah, but it, I, I think I, you know, it is weird when you don't have as much experience yourself. I am definitely that was my first more of a prude. That, oh, you're more of a prude. Okay. Yeah. You just like rape, but you don't like other things. I'm joking. Um, oh my God. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, hentai, that is fucked up. They have so... Oh that's my the God, issue. That, that, I think that's the main yeah. issue with hentai because it's it's so much about um, uh, female like presenting characters being overwhelmed by uh, male characters. But if I'm being completely honest, I prefer yaoi, so... What's that? What's yao yao yao? Am I? Oh, I am not. I don't know what this is. Tell me what this is, Baba. I am so is excited. It's on a giri. Um, no, it's like <laughs> it's boys love. Oh, so you like gay so, gay hentai? Yes. Yeah, like That's male gay hentai. One hundred percent my jam. Interesting. Okay, uh, tell yeah. me like a scene that you've enjoyed. I mostly like the the Korean version now. Uh, it's called like Mawa. Mawa. Yeah, because okay. you can just find them online and they're in color, which is refreshing sometimes. Oh, you're saying hentai is black and white? What, what do you mean in color? The yeah, Japan- it's black usually. And white? Yeah. I mean, when I was growing up and I was consuming that as my main source of pornography. You were wanking uh, to black and white hentai. Really? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm older than you. How did you not have color hentai? Listen, <laughs> and uh, I come from a place with power outages. We had to download our shit, make sure it was there for later you on. Had to download and print it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God. It's so cute. You think I had a printer yeah. at home? No, I mean like you had to go to like the convenience store to print it out, or no, <laughs> go to the DVD store. Our conven- use the printer in the back. Our convenience stores don't have that kind of technology, and it's um. They barely have the post. Okay. No. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, wow, I had no idea because like, I've got very clear memories of um, one of the first hentai. Like my brother always dominated the internet. Yeah, I was the I, I am the I was the youngest until I had stepbrothers and sister join. But my brother always dominated the the internet. We had died, you know like only one person could be using the mm-hmm. internet at home, and um, and when I finally sort of had a bit of 
in the agency uh, had space for myself to use the computer the first hentai that I checked out I remember quite vividly it was color and uh, it was a policeman um, like tying up a like handcuffing this this girl and essentially raping her but like yeah. she was kind of into it you know and uh, and I remember and he like straight anal and um, he was like wearing like a blue uniform and she was like definitely a schoolgirl. And I remember it very clearly. So t- tell me, tell me, so about your color, your exciting color Korean uh, boy boy uh, porn. It's wonderful. It's um, I mean, of course, you know, you grow up kind of nerdy. You start appreciating like the art for itself. You know, beautiful drawings and whatnot. And there are some cute stories. Like that too. shading is just so impressive. Some, oh my the way God. That- how they draw the veins on the dick. Amazing. The light. The way the light. God almighty. I will, sh- I will show you some later. Hey, you, I, you need to see it. I do need to see it. This is interesting because um, my 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 boyfriend was telling me that it's common. Like he's found it common that women watch gay porn. Like male gay porn. Mm. And I have never. Like I. For the first time I saw it. It was by accident. I went to this um, sex uh, cinema with like two yeah, comedians. Yeah, it's always by accident. Anna. It was by always accident. by accident. No, okay. because I actually found um, male gay porn a bit confronting for a while. Uh, like I was a bit like, oh, uh, and I think it was just because I'm not represented. <laughs> <laughs> When is it going to be about me? Yeah, it, yeah. It's like, oh my god, people are having sex without a vagina, like without <laughs> without some tits in there, and and you know, and it just it, it felt yeah, it was it was challenging to me. But recently, by accident, at this like sex cinema, and I was like, oh, this is this is really hot, like two dicks, and like, mm, all right, cool. Um, so you actually choose to watch, yeah, like that's your that's your jam, like um, like gay male porn. Not us- for for regular porn. No, not really. No. I mean, on occasion, I would watch it. What like what's but, like? So it's, can you describe a scene from this Korean stuff? What's it called? Mawa? Mawa? Yeah, it's Ma- like Manwa. Ma- Manwa? Yeah, yeah Manwa. I think it's okay. something like that. Manwa. I'm not sure if I'm butchering it, but something like that. I like it. Um, I'm sure they're butchering it. So in my okay, I will tell you, my favorite one <laughs> yes, at please. the time. Please. It's called Dear Door. Dear Door. Yes, mm-hmm. by Pluto, an amazing artist. Um, <laughs> It's like about a demon yes, who is. comes into the human realm and to be able to travel within the human realm and the land of the demons, well, hell, he has to get a door and a door basically is a human. You have to make a human orgasm to be able to travel back to hell and back to the human realm. And there is this cop a C A B motherfucker, and he uh-huh. like yeah. just says, "Hey, you're gonna be my door." Bam, and then they fall in love. The cop, so the police, uh, uh, the okay, so there's a demon. The demon's like, like just hanging out in the Disruption atmosphere. Disruption and whatnot. And this cop, uh, the the main character, he's like trying to find why are people dying so much left and right? What is this thing? Why are they getting this weird symbol? Because when you become someone, a, de- a demon's door, you get a symbol in your body. And, and so they, the demon kills the, the... It's not that they kill them, it's that they're demons, so they fuck you so hard that you can die because of the amazing energy. But this cop is apparently super strong and has a super strong soul to you even... Mean penis. <laughs> it, they It's their soul, really. They say, his soul is so strong oh, that he can wow. handle having sex with the king of hell. His name is Cain. He's incredible. Cain? Mm-hmm. Cain? Mm-hmm. I will show him to you later. Oh my God, this is so great. Like, <laughs> I, I think it's really fun. You're opening There's actually up my like mind. a story there. Yeah. Um, I do agree with you that some of these stories, there's always something like fucking rapey about them. And I think that that's why I distanced myself very early on from hentai and Japanese shit because there was always that underlying theme and always, Yamete kudasai, bitch, no. Mm-hmm. I, no, I, mm-hmm. no. For anyone who's listening, Yamete kudasai means stop, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 totally. And that whole like, yeah, no, no, no means kind of yes or like that it's it's good to be taking advantage and yeah, taking away someone's um, uh, 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 consent. But, but yeah. Mm. It's so interesting. That's such a cool. <laughs> that's such a cool um, 
concept for a, like a, a, a porn series that's and that's animated. I love it. I want to. I'm gonna check this shit out. It has like over a hundred plus chapters and what? yeah 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 it's through which channel do you do you did you how, like, how did you find this and how can you through what do you watch it like is there a streaming service what is it uh there are like a few websites where you can get because these are korean obviously so they get licensed in english and published by you know different sites uh one is called legend and and this one i found on tapas because that's the uncensored version so of course oh, yeah. if there's no smut i'm not reading it yeah like, no 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 Okay, but it is it's it's not um like manga, it's actually animated anime. Like it's a move like it's a Oh no no, a it's a it's a comic book. Oh, yeah. it's a comic book. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 I'm always so tempted to like read on public transport. Oh, you're so Japanese. Oh my god. <laughs> Reading porn on public transport. That's hilarious. I mean, you know, you don't always get turned on by it. At some point you're like, okay, yeah, I got it. Or I'm going to save this for later. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm sort of like, why would you waste it on public transport? Like, don't you want to <laughs> be able to touch yourself? Why wouldn't you just, like, read it at home? But then you get so invested and you really want to know what happens okay. besides the fucking. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I love this. I love that you're into this. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm opening up my soul here, Anna. Now. Nobody knows this about me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I only have, like, 200 listeners a week. It's cool. Like, it's it's it's. Hard. <laughs> Or 199 because you listen to it. So, although you maybe you listen to it, it's so cool that you've listened to this. But I do want to hear like a description of some of the gays, like because this is you're saying that um, manhwa is like a lot of like male to male sex. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So like so this genre specifically, um, they boys love or or yaoi for the Japanese word. Mm-hmm. Um, right now, I'm mostly reading the Korean manhwas, so it's it's called boys love. Like the sub genre, but you can uh-huh. find anything. You can find girl and girl, uh-huh. traditional shit. You know. Can you describe like a kinky scene of like two men? Like what? What are they doing? Oh my god, darling! Like, give me one. It- give us one. Okay, so there is this other story um, where the main character is a online uh, sex streamer. So okay, like an OnlyFans kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he kind of you know he hides his face and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And of course, the other uh, person of interest in the story like discovers his secret identity mm-hmm. and blah blah blah. And he's super kinky naturally because of course he's like doing this mm-hmm. uh, online. And yo, these people go crazy from uh, what's it called sounding when you put something inside the the penis like through the urethra. Is that called sounding? I thought that was called. Um... It's- Oh. Isn't it called sounding? Okay, docking is when two di- like a dick tries to like <laughs> go inside another dick. But what's it? Um, yeah, when they fuck with the urethra. Uh, what is it? Is it called sounding? I don't. I, I thought it was called that. I'm gonna do. But a, maybe maybe uh, I'm wrong. I mean, I, I look. I actually trust you. Um, I'm but, no expert. Um, but they do that kind of thing. They also like, you know, shoving milk up their ass. Or shoving using... milk up their ass, like with a syringe, or like like yeah, just like opening it up and like pouring it from the cotton, like <laughs> with a syringe. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> using a syringe for for that, or you know, using like suction cups on on nipples and fucking sounding, kind of man, sounding recreational urethral sounding is associated with higher risk sexual behavior and carries the potential for death. <laughs> wow, the day I feel so worldly. You are. No. <laughs> <laughs> Urethral intercourse. Yeah, okay. Uh, cross-sectional. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so sounding. What to know about urethral sounding? Imagine. Uh, practice involves inserting a... Sorry, I'm just on WebMD, guys. This is where we're at. Uh, involves inserting a glass or a metal object or fluid. Is this? Does this sound mm-hmm, right? It's, mm-hmm. it's always glass, metal, or fluid. Like, no wood. <laughs> no, they go creative. They try to put roses in there and shit. Oh, that's beautiful. I yeah. mean, how romantic. Um, wow. Interesting. That does sound risky. It Ooh. is super risky. Ordinary household objects people use for this purpose include pencils, screws, wires, glue containers, clips, <laughs> fellas shaped fruits and vegetables. Dude, like to get a fucking zucchini in like it's a small hole. The urethra is tiny. That's insane. I, I don't know which fruit you could get through that. I mean, right. Maybe a dry lentil. I'm what the fuck. A dry lentil. 
like put them on a string and like try and like thread them down. Okay. All right. So they, so, okay. So they're doing sound, they're doing sound, sound, sounding. Okay. New word for me that I'm going to, I'm going to use and integrate. <laughs> sounding. Uh, okay. So also like milk in the, in the butt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are also like some BDSM usually stuff um, mm-hmm. can get like pretty scary at times too. Okay. Like, like just heavy like whipping and hitting right and yeah choking and mm, mm. what else i think that's about that's the craziest stuff i mean there is another sub genre where men can get pregnant oh that's a favorite of many <gasps> that's amazing yeah how like how like how like uh in their buttholes it's called, <laughs> okay so it's called the omega verse uh-huh. and I'm thinking about doing a whole series about these things on TikTok. <laughs> I think you should. Like, you're blowing my brain. Uh, this is amazing. I I also feel like a shithead. Everybody, like, bettered themselves or did stuff during the pandemic. I just went back to reading, like, gay porn comic I books. I, um, I hadn't read them since I was, like, you know, 14, 15. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, huh, here's an opportunity I... for me to get in touch with a part of my pervy side <laughs> i think it's wonderful oh i i think it's really wonderful like i wish i had i'm gonna make more time to like explore <laughs> these things because i will give you some recommendations yeah, for sure. please um but it's also you know if you really get like into it you're supporting an art form mm. you know it's fuck cartooning or like doing this kind of work is so exploitative so yeah you can support someone also by consuming their work like that mm-hmm. which is the positive side now back to getting pregnant as mm-hmm. a man as a man yeah mm-hmm. how the fuck does this ha- how do they work that yeah it, it, i i don't know who came up with it but it's like a whole subgenre. like you can just look up boys love stories that are omega verse and this thing means that there are in a society where um, normal people are called like betas and there are omegas. Mm-hmm. Omegas are, you know, able to get pregnant mm-hmm. because they have a uterus inside and they go into heat cycles. Uh huh. Where Like dogs? Yeah. Where they will basically fuck anything. And there are alphas. Uh-huh. Alphas are very weak to the omegas pheromones. Uh huh. So... That's how it happens. Like, you know, an alpha gets also a heat cycle uh-huh. and they would be, oh no, they call it a rut. The alpha goes in a rut, into a rut. Yeah. And the omega goes into heat. Uh-huh. And when they get together in that time, then they can make a baby. Uh, yeah. And they, I really, <laughs> the most interesting thing about these things is how they draw and make the anal cavity like, look and sound like a pussy like it gets wet and like stretched out and this and that I'm like D- these women know that this is not how an anus works I mean they have one yeah right although not a lot of women necessarily use their anus and know how it works sexually okay I, like I, I think a lot do but they're also like no, 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 no. do you like anal mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah like I, I'm not close to anything uh, really like Playing with shit, I kind of draw a line there. I'm like, ah, scat stuff, no. no. But uh, everything else, like, yeah, I'm not close to anything. Did you get, like, a stomachache after? No. That's why I, like, stopped. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I used to always get, like, a stomach A ache. stomach ache? Super bad after I had anal. Like, it, was it because they were, like, going in too deep and it was starting to fuck with the end of your intestines? <laughs> so- m- maybe. I mean, I do have, like, a... A bit of a intestinal issue, so okay. that's like that could probably be a thing. not a good thing. But I, I mean, I liked it, um, but now I'm like scared to try it again because I always had the fucking stomach ache, and I'm like, isn't isn't it my back that's supposed to be hurting? Yeah, I don't get any pain after anal. There's no pain. Like I no. Um, when I started seeing uh, someone, uh, I yeah no, that's different. I started having like becoming aware of my cervix for the first time in a long time because sex um, was yeah the sex was hitting like I was my cervix was getting hit and it hadn't been hit for like often and all of a sudden it was starting to be um, contacted regularly. Oh wow! And uh, and I was 
I became conscious of my cervix. I wouldn't say it hurt, but I was conscious of it. So it was like, I guess it was, it had been made to feel a bit sensitive because all of a sudden it was getting, yeah, um, some attention, but never really, not, no, no stomach problems with anal, no, like, um, like sometimes like, you know, anus can get a little bit sensitive after a lot of action. Sure. But mm. the same with like vagina. You know? Yeah. 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 But stomach. Hmm. I wonder, like, try, try it again. You know, try it again. Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> and just, like, not as deep. Yeah, maybe something. it's a depth issue. If Yeah, because, like, really where the, the sen- well, there are there are different points, actually, for orgasm in, in anal sex, apparent, like, for a woman. With a man, there's the prostate, but with a woman, there is a point. So there's the anus has, like, all the receptors, but then deeper in, there's a point that connects with um, inside the vagina area. And so, um, like, pressure in the butt... Uh, ends up stimulating a part in the vagina. That makes total sense to me. Because when you yeah. have, like, vaginal sex, you also feel it, too. Like, mm-hmm. if they are hitting in a certain way, you feel it, like, close to your gooch, right? And yeah, it yeah, starts yeah. like, oh, my God. Yeah. That's my butt. <laughs> yeah, like, it's it's stimulating that, yeah, that part. Yeah, through the walls. Through the walls. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... Um, but uh, that's interesting. The idea of yeah, the, the fact that they go into the detail in these in these um, in manga, like showing the butthole like a vagina because it's got a uterus behind it. That's really, and then they give birth through the through the butthole. It's almost oh, no, it's always a C-section. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> they they want like it's science. <laughs> like, come on. No, it's always <laughs> always a C-section. That's so I've ne- I've never seen a case where it's not like this is a high risk pregnancy, so we're gonna have to operate. And then you know the main character is like worried for like hours sitting in the OR, or, not in the OR in the waiting room because mm-hmm. the Omega is in the OR giving birth. And yeah, what the fuck? That's and so in these societies, are there any women? Yeah, there are women. Okay, do they never do they come into the into the sex world or? Uh, no, we don't we don't want to see that. We want to see interesting gay sex. Interesting. <laughs> there are some comic books that also include, you know, some scenes of everything. You know what I mean. But you can specifically also look for girl on girl. Or... Yeah, like I, I've got to say, with my porn consumption, I'm very. Um, I would say. Uh, like short transactional, you know, like I'm not in there for a story. I want to see penetration, maybe a little bit of fucked up shit and then I'm out. Mm. And I don't really like go deep into any stories or like, I just really want to see the fucking and then I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm done, you know? And so I, I appreciate, but like, yeah. I, and so for example, I did use um Reddit and I quite like gifts for porn. Cause it's just like, <laughs> It's just like these short little, short little bite size, uh, bite size porn pieces. Yeah, yeah. And then it's like, oh, another scene, and then oh, another scene, and like you can watch it. You know, the gifts like, oh, that scene like just perfectly repeated enough, and then it's like, okay, what's the next thing? And yeah. Also, Twitter is really good for that. Because Twitter, I... Twitter is awesome for that kind of thing. I one of my close friends, she she has an OnlyFans, and she's always like reposting stuff from other creators on OnlyFans, and they always share like snippets from Twitter or sorry from from their videos that uh-huh. you know uh to get people to obviously go to their only fans yeah, yeah that's just really good twitter it's... twitter i didn't know that twitter had like a you know not safe for work yeah element. yeah a lot of i have so I much engaged with twitter. In twitter yeah i have not engaged with twitter at all i just like it just seems like every time i've tried it's just this gaping hole <laughs> of of like negativity and bad shit and it's just getting into it i'm just like ah. but that's how i feel about reddit though yeah, I really only use Reddit for information about drugs. And <laughs> it's like, what do I do with this speed paste that I bought because I'm a fucking idiot? And, oh, I need to – how to dry out speed. I have not bought speed, anybody. Uh, but, yeah, like, mm, um, you know, like – or, like, should I take this acid that's three years old? What oh will happen God. to me? Um, or then it's, like, porn, like, lesbian anal or um, – which it's a fun category when I'm feeling, like, anti-man. Yeah, I guess, like, I've just been – maybe I've just – there's a part of me that's – yeah, like – 
I think I think uh, politically and um, you know relationship wise and st- stuff. I guess like watching just men, yeah, has never like it's only it's taken me to this point in my life where I could get behind that. Mm. And before it's like no, I really want it to be female focused. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. But I okay. So to clarify, mm-hmm. I don't consume this shit for porn anymore. You know, no, no it's, it's the legitimately art. entertaining. Yeah. For me, it's just 100% the entertainment, you know, looking forward to the next chapter every week, even if I know it's not going to be kinky at all or okay. there's going to be no sex. Um, yeah, I for getting off, you know, yeah, I don't need much. I what mean, do you, yeah, what do you, do you use the stuff to get off or do you have other things? No, I just watch regular porn. Oh, regular yeah, porn. Yeah, I, I really like the sounds. <laughs> yeah, The I'm, sounds? Yeah, I'm that kind of person. It's like... Sounds are important. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sounds are important for me during actual sex. Like, I find it very difficult to come if there's music playing because the music really distracts. Like, I'm very orally sensitive. And so if there's a song, like, for me to come when there's music on, it basically needs to be music that uh, is, like, doesn't take, doesn't distract me mm. and that I find appealing, but, like, not not appealing enough to be distracting. And, yeah, like, it's really – and usually I have to turn music off in order to come. Oh, wow. But, um, but like, the sounds of the actual sex uh, help a lot, like, like hearing – hearing the breathing or the noises or um dirty t- yeah do you like do you like dirty talk i love it <laughs> and i have i have this i can feel that yeah and i have a I have a hang up actually in my sex life mm-hmm. uh, because i really want to hear someone talk to me in nasty dominican spanish <laughs> and you know I have a partner. He is unfortunately not able to provide that, but I have. I think I everything in Spanish, and, and specifically Dominican Spanish, is mm. like so nasty and <laughs> dirty, and just sounds like, like, yeah. It makes it makes me get into the space where I'm feeling that I enjoy most, where it's like I'm trash, <laughs> and this person is talking trash to me. Yeah, it's yeah, super fun, huh? Yeah, but oh my god, it's so much fun. Yeah, it's like uh, a big thing for me. Yeah, words, yeah. sounds, but I think that's also a discrepancy for me. Like getting off, I, yeah, I can, I could do it in five five minutes or less, baby. You can, you, you can know, I have it down to technique, same mm-hmm. as my blowjobs, five minutes or less. Five minutes but- or less. But sometimes you want to savor it though, no? Like. <laughs> It depends on the day. It depends on the day. Some sometimes you want to try new stuff and yeah. you know draw it out, but play around. Yeah, but if it's just like I'm gonna treat you, it's a quick shit. Like yeah, eat yeah. your candy and go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So for me, getting off is like just that, you know. But for sex, it's like let's fucking draw it out. Let's, yeah, let's you play. Know. Yeah, exactly. Let's exactly. like create power dynamics or you know fantasies or. Um, yeah, that like that dirty talk can be. Yeah, I've I've I'm getting better at talking during sex. Like I, I, I used to be very used to be. I'm still like, I'm not a big talker. I got <laughs> you're a comedian. <laughs> I know. So when I'm getting fucked, I just want to get fucked. Like, I'm, like I've been talking all day. You know, like I don't like. Let me tune out. All right, let me just focus on the physicality of this. Um, but I have got some, you know, there's, uh, I've got some lovers who, yeah, <laughs> some pretty fucking funny, dirty talk and, um, and yeah, like, like full conversational stuff and like talking and that's quite a new thing for me. Oh, wow. Full convers like what? Like, uh, <laughs> how much to say? Uh, like just, you know, being like, um, like talking about our dynamic or being like, you know, like oh yeah, like uh, maybe talking about the sex that um, we've had with other people. Oh wow, um, that's kind hot. Of, the, yeah, yeah, it is actually super hot. Or like the sex that um, we want to ha- like talking about the sex that we want to have with other people, or talking about um, like yeah, like like plans, but like fuck plans, you know, not just like yeah, we're gonna go to the supermarket later, like. Not, like <laughs> <laughs> not that but like but maybe yeah like talking out fantasies whilst we're whilst we're fucking stuff like that and fun. it's 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 yeah it, it, it is a lot of fun it's very new for me um do you think like 
because you also are fluent in a few languages does it have you had that in like like doing doing different languages yeah um <laughs> I let me think about this. Uh, I was seeing like a guy that um, whose who, whose first language was uh, like not English or German, and so during sex sometimes I would speak German with him because that was kind of like he could speak English as well, but uh, I felt somehow like I enjoyed communicating with him in German more. And, and it was so, probably more intimate for him as well. A little bit, yeah. I guess, a little bit, and yeah, and so talking in German with him I've done. And then I've, uh, Italian partners I've, I've spoken Italian with. I haven't, I've only fucked one Japanese guy. And I was so drunk, I don't remember if there were any words coming out of my mouth, so. I want the full story. So were, you you were in Japan also for some time? Not really, so, no. I, 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 three weeks when I was 17 on an, like an exchange program. Oh, okay, cool. Just three weeks. And then, um, and then six weeks when I was 25, just traveling around to decide if I wanted to move there mm-hmm. or write a th- like continue with my academic studies in Japanese. And so just six weeks. But the, the Japanese guy I fucked was in, in Melbourne. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, he was a chef at a bar that I used to go to. And um, and he came to this house party that I was having. And um, yeah, we fucked. And then he <laughs> I woke up in the morning and at the bar that he worked at, there was a cocktail called Ninja Love. Yeah, this guy, he was, he, he fucked off. Like he just, I woke up and he was gone. I was like, ninja love. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Like it's not often that, it, like, have you had it where you fuck someone? They just, like you wake up and they're gone. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah. That was, uh, that was a moment for me. That's crazy. Yeah. Do you, do you find yourself that you have a type where? You... Yes, I have a type. Okay. But then there's lots of people that fall outside of that type. But I think it's just a matter of quantity. Um, there's just a lot. There's just a lot. So there's going to be people that don't fall. But like, there's a set type that I have, which is, um, yeah, like usually like long hair, longish hair, facial hair, dark features. Um, that's pretty much the type. Okay. Okay. Because you know, when I was living in Asia, I never like felt like super big attraction, especially like uh, in China. Hmm. Also no, like I didn't. You didn't feel... fuck. I, ha- I had my boyfriend. Anyway, oh, you had your but... boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, same one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how long have you guys been together? <laughs> Eight years. Eight years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys closed, monogamous. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Nice. We are. Yes, yes, we are. Have you always been closed? Or monogamous, I should say. Closed sounds very negative. Have ne- you always been monogamous? Ne- next question. <laughs> <laughs> okay fair fair um okay so eight years all right so yeah we are... we we are you know we really love each other that's we've so been beautiful. it's yeah he's the best <laughs> oh my god that's how did you meet we met in college you met in college yeah he yells at me in class and i was like this fucking dumb gringo he thinks he knows better yeah i hated him for the longest time and then i fell in love with him Oh my god, I love it. Yeah. That's so hot. I love it. Oh, eight yeah. years. Yeah, eight years. Do you guys want to procreate? We, we're we not sure. We flip flop. You're not in your 30s yet. You're like 28. You yeah, I'm 28. 28. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah, fuck it. You got I gave him my out. youth. You have given him your. Fuck, 20 to 28. That's I know a he's lot. listening. You better be fucking grateful. I, I'm grateful too, darling. <laughs> wow, eight years, one partner. Like the longest I've ever had as a relationship is like three years. Yeah. And I've had like lots of like two year, two year, three year, you know, two year, one year, whatever. But um, well, you were married at, at one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like two years, two, two years. In the marriage and uh, two year relationship married for like five years. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So that's seven years. No, no, no. Like we were no in total. We were married for five years, but I left him um, after two years. Okay. Yeah, we got to about two. Yeah, we got to two years, and I left. Um, yeah, but we stayed married for um, for legal reasons. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, but um, but yeah, like always, two years, yeah, like eight years. That's fucking fascinating. I think you know that shit makes you grow quick. <laughs> yeah, we we were always like serious about each other, so that was always also very reassuring about everything because we we did all the things together like we were in china together we were in the states together we're here together it's amazing so, that's such a that's such a partnership like 
that's what um with 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 my with my partner my my with my boyfriend really you know that's the thing I've, I've missed so much is having someone that's you know like a, yeah like a best friend who really supports you and loves you and is there for all the things mm-hmm. and uh and you know you help each other mm, with your with your goals and your passions and your you know projects and uh and and supporting each other through all the like just having that person it's really amazing and you <sighs> see each other grow a lot and mm-hmm. i think that's the most beautiful part too mm-hmm. um you call each other out on your shit you yes. push each other to grow like none of that like staying stagnant shit if you don't like where you are we can always change it it's, mm-hmm. yeah it's I, i'm very happy yeah. i'm super proud of my relationship also um that's it oh, it's so beautiful it's so beautiful <laughs> oh my god i um like my relationship's super fresh and so uh yeah like um two months two months uh not quite two months we got i mentioned before the record we're going to paris on our two month anniversary <laughs> which is amazing <laughs> it's so hardcore it's like but we're kind of doing this thing like you know he's he's 40 and i'm i'm you know turning 36 next month and it's like you know yeah it's like let's fucking let's do this like let's let's put this dynamic under you know through all the things and see how how it how we make it work yeah i i love that and there's genuinely no reason not to i mean when we met i was i was a fucking baby i think about it now and in fact i was 19 when we first met because we met at the beginning of the semester Mm -hmm. and he told me he would not date me because he was like 23 at that point until I until I turned twenty. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So he waited like two months. My birthday's in February. What and a then, hero. <laughs> yeah. 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 And and I I remember like a lot of people being like, huh? But you're going like really serious, really fast. We went on trips, road yeah. trips, went to Canada. Fuck on, yeah. Yeah, in a car, like seven hours, whatever. And if you feel that is fun and you both feel good about it, do it up. Like right all this like oh you're going too fast blah, blah, blah. it's none of your fucking business mm-hmm. mind your own shit mm-hmm. i get to decide if it's fast for me or not we are the only people that matter in that dynamic That's exactly it. fuck yeah fuck yeah that's nice to hear like yeah i don't i don't actually have any insecurities around how we're moving because like I've, I've i've been um in in so like so many relationships and like had things mm. move at different at different paces and you know, I have some things that are red, like, you know, you know when something's a red flag or you know when something it's like, oof, it's it's messing with your boundaries or, mm. you know, it's moving in a, in a bad way. But like, yeah, we're, yeah, we're not, um, yeah, like, yes, we're going to go to Paris, but it's not like we're going to fucking, you know, have a child <laughs> in the first, like, you know, we're not going to do that. Like that, that's, that's crazy shit. We're not going to move in together like like you know it's uh, there are some things where it's like it'll 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 develop naturally but yeah like other other milestones and other experiences put it through the paces fucking do everything you want to do yeah for sure for yeah. sure and it's also something really refreshing to see people who step up and make shit clear with you about what they want i, th- mm-hmm. I, I found that like really attractive with my boyfriend that from the get-go he was like no no i want this for a serious long-term shit mm-hmm. and are you cool with that i'm like yeah and I'm, I'm also i mean i wasn't necessarily looking mm-hmm. but shit i'm like why not and yeah we were all in for it so Fuck yeah that's also like not so common i found out later on from my <laughs> lots of single friends <laughs> well yeah but i think it, it really comes down to meeting that person and that put per- like uh, yeah with every dynamic there's a different set of desires or or like uh, potentials for that dynamic and i think yeah uh there's lots of people that i wouldn't have moved you know um moved uh forward with in the same mm-hmm, way that i've mm-hmm. done with with um with my my boyfriend now uh and even just like being able to say like boyfriend after like you know after a month we're calling each other boyfriend and girlfriend it's like there's so many people that i've met where it's just like the dynamic of the two of us that that would that's not where it's going to go and it's not and we wouldn't be looking for those same things but there's yeah when you meet that person and that's what you like it, it can create that where it's like let's be together forever you know let's do this i fucking love it yeah <laughs> uh, we we say shit like in, in spanish we would call it like me puso clara you know like that guy he told me from the beginning this was what he wanted mm-hmm. i was there for it 
sure let's go just like let's go let's go um what's the nationality of your boyfriend he's american he's american okay cool yeah i'm sure he could learn a lesser some passport <laughs> than europe but it's okay yes. i mean i feel like i've done all my traveling with my rock of a passport already so <laughs> you've got a dominican passport yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm sure he could learn some Dominican Spanish you know, so he can <laughs> go dirty with you in the bedroom. He's he's got a he's got a few words. He's got a few words. He's got a few things. That's hot. That's nice. Um, okay, so we've talked. Um, all right, we're gonna actually have to wrap it up in like three minutes. Damn. Um, uh, did you you, you you had some question? There was a question that you. Um, mentioned earlier i've forgotten where it was going. Uh, how many threesomes have you had ah yes threesomes. <laughs> <laughs> so we were just greeting each other before recording <laughs> and it just came about and yes. anna suggested i asked during <laughs> that's right that's right okay so threesomes so i have had quite a few um so just a pure threesome not a foursome not like a group sex dynamic uh you know, like there's been some threesomes at orgies. Um, actually, there was. I have had a male, male, female, um, MMF, uh, as the lingo in the streets goes. <laughs> um, I have had that, but that was at an orgy. So it was like, ah, I would had like right before that, I like I was eating out some girl as my boyfriend, as my husband was fucking me. And then like later, like I was like, wow, this is really explicit. Um, like I was, oh, my stepdad listens. To, everyone listens to this shit. <laughs> But like then later on in that orgy, like then, you know, it kind of like, I'm not sure if the orgies count because it's, you know, you could have like four people around, five people around, but, um, dedicated threesomes where it's like, um, yeah, just the three people, um, lots, like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess like, uh, look, let's say like, um, and I'm probably going to forget some, but yeah, quite a few in Australia with my ex-husband and usually just with another woman, um, and then also in Berlin uh, with some friends, and it was uh, girl, girl, guy, yeah, another FFM um, dynamic, and that's happened a few times. Then I used field, and I hooked up with like a couple once, and that was again like another woman and a, a what man. What is that? Field's a like a poly kinky dating app. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, like my boyfriend and I are both on there and like we've linked our profiles. Uh, <laughs> that's how we know it's serious. Um, and uh, yeah, like, you know, cause we're, we're, we're open. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so it's been mainly, mainly, um, you know, me with another couple or me with my boyfriend and a woman or me with my husband and another woman. So mm. that's been the majority of my, yeah. I haven't had a dedicated, like to ended up being like just, in a room, like in a house where it's just me and two other guys. And so um, I'm excited to to do that <laughs> and tick that off at some point, maybe for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday. You can cry all you want to. <laughs> I just have like tears of semen. <laughs> gonna be so wet um yeah wow this got really explicit that's great that's great fun um okay we're gonna wrap it up um do you have anything else you wanted to bring up or um yeah ask or say before we wrap it up have you ever fucked a comic <laughs> like so many oh shit <laughs> oh my god you know you didn't know yeah you just uh when i started in the scene i had a boyfriend but then that ended and so in 2019 I did enough uh, damage in the scene to make a rule of not fucking comedians after that. Oh, wow. Okay. I used to date Gino back, back in the day. Oh, ah, okay. But Gino's dated a lot of people um, in the scene, which is cool. Um, and then, yeah, the, like, I've got, yeah, there's a, I've done my, yep, I've done, <laughs> done my dash of comedians for sure. Asked and answered. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, like when you're touring, it doesn't count, you know. <laughs> but like same scene, you know. I try not to fuck people in the scene. Okay, okay. Any particular reason? I mean, my friends they were like very wary as soon as they heard I'm gonna be doing stand up. Like, never ever a comic. Why? Never a comedian. Why? And I, you know, not that they needed to tell me like I'm in a relationship for one, and you know. But why? I, What's wrong with comedians? Big egos and shit. I already have a narcissist father. Like it's. Fu- <laughs> 
Big egos, yeah, we're all, yeah, yeah, we're all, we've all got egos, I guess, but like, mm, the people that I've, I've fucked, yeah, I'm not sure if, you know, it's different having a relationship with someone, fucking someone's a different thing, um, but I think it's better just to, the reason why it's like, don't fuck in the scene is because, you know, you work together, and it just, it, it makes it a bit complicated, I mainly stopped fucking around, also because I was started producing a lot more, and I was like, I don't want to be that producer. That, like, <laughs> okay, yeah. You know what I mean? Blurred like, lines. You know, like, ah, uh, he's only getting spots because they're, you know, she fu- they fucked. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear you. And so it was like, okay, I need to not be that. Yeah, I think guy. for me, probably because it w- I've never had that time of, like, being out there seeking hard, casual sex, it's probably going to be impossible for me to just put a barrier with, like, Oh, but I know you. Mm-hmm. Oh, so and so is so sweet. Oh, I really like their jokes. And then we fucking like, do they like me? <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Or yeah. However, mm, like I recently picked up this very young man, and um, and I saw <laughs> last week that he started doing comedy. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, this this Berlin is tiny, man. Berlin is tiny, but um, yeah. So, you know, um, yeah, whatever. But uh, yeah, try to you know, it's best not. It's it's good to try and not fuck everybody that you work with. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, that's that's that my mind. that's my go to. Um, I'm old enough and done it enough to yeah, not do it anymore. All right, but I'm doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. All right. So how can people follow you, Palma? Where where should they follow you? Where can they see you? You can follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. The user is the same, Palma Palacios. P-A-L-A-C-I-O-S is the last name. Uh, thank you so much for having me on your 100th episode of the no, Adults no, no, no. Only. Yes. you you. Thank you so much for being my 100th guest. That's fucking crazy. I'm freaking giddy about it. Yeah. I remember, like, I came here to this same venue to see a show and I was... I, w- I had the worst energy. I was that person with the worst energy in the room, sitting right in the front. And I remember seeing. I was like, "Fuck this show!" The host was the best part. How dare they? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Toronto. And I, I, you know, I told the people who bombed that day already. Like, we're, we're buddies now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a it's a journey, right? Um, get into comedy, but that's so fucking cool. Yeah. Again, we're recording at the Wall Comedy Club. Check it out. Um, if you don't follow me already, fuck you, uh, <laughs> AF Barros. Um, this has been such a pleasure, Palma. Um, check out Palma; she's fucking hilarious. And uh, happy 100th episode! And uh, fuck you. Yeah, that's been Adults Only Comedy Berlin. Thank you so much, and goodbye. Bye.